Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Cyclops! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice straight punch. That landed. And he landed the right hand there. Head kick, that's a miss. The right hook to the body. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. 
boxing, boxing, boxing. Blocks the strike. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Just missed with the left there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big elbow there, Lance. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Under three minutes remain in round one. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with his beautiful leg kicks. kick there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful body kick. Misses with the left punch there. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just misses there with the left. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. Left hand punch the quick. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. seconds. Oh. Able to land there with the straight left. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Blocks the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. 
Yes. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Ball combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big power shot there. Big body kick lands. Another punch to the head. Is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful body kick. Right under the elbow, by the plan. Big punch lands in the middle. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight right hand now just misses. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, Superman punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Try to establish that jab. shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in time. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Fifteen seconds to go. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Ten minutes in the books. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All 
right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great punch. Big body kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. stances here. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. What a punch. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, no! He's out! He's done, he's done! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Mm -hmm. 
And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 27 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.